Right, well this is my 1947 Dodge and uh, the washer system on this car which is fitted, we fitted it, obviously it did not have a washer system when it was built. Um, because it's a 6 volt system at the time I was having difficulty finding a uh, 6 volt pump to run the washer system so what I did was well, we, we fitted a 12 volt battery a second battery in the car because obviously it runs off a 6 volt we filled, fitted a 12 volt battery in the car and um, that ran a 12 volt washer pump a uh, bit of a bore really because every now and again I forgot to charge it and uh, had no washer so what I've done is I located a number of these 6 volt pumps which are from a Volkswagen uh, Beetles or transporters they were I suppose and uh, we're gonna fit this now this morning or at least an expert is going to do it and you're gonna fit it to this car so here we are this is the current system and we've got a uh, feed that's running from that 12 volt battery but actually it is flat at the moment because I failed to keep charging it up. Obviously this is the 6 volt that is the uh, main battery for the car. So that will become redundant and that will be replaced with this uh, reservoir with the uh, 6 volt pump uh, built into it. And here comes the expert. Um, right, round here I have got, and I've prepared the, uh, the operation site for you. <laughs> um, An American vehicle all day yesterday. Oh really? What was that? Uh, Wardler France. Never heard of it. Yeah. Wardler France. Uh, Wardler France. Never heard of it. I've heard of it. Le France. Fire engines. Yeah, well that, that is the same people. Is it the same people? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Okay. They, they made big uh, um, recovery trucks. Ah, oh, right, okay. For the army. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, that's the old, uh, yeah. That's the old army stuff. That's one, is it somebody who's into the uh, military? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is, this is a piece of cake, this thing, man. This is just a little toy. <laughs> exactly the same light switch. This has got a siphon from one to the other, isn't it? But, because your pump goes straight into the... into the bottle. So you're not going to be able to get the, the water from that one to the next one, are you? Oh, right. Keep that. I tell you, that might be a one I could fit maybe to one of the Citroens. Because actually, I think it's a better one than the Citroens. And the Citroen, the two little Citroens I've got, and they're 12 volts. Right, so we've got... Lovely. You've got an idea for my pump. Yeah. Just made a little bracket. Yeah. And then we can put a screw up to there, and that will just sit. That won't. Oh, that's better. That won't. Because that's what the other one is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've yeah. practiced this over there, can I? Yeah. Right. So that fits on there. Yeah, that looks smart.
press the button again. Yeah. Right, we're going to press the button again. This is the, I think this is the fourth time. Right, the button is down here. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't reach it. It's on. Yeah, well. It's off. Work. Got power there. All right, let's press it again. Okay, off. I've got it. What's leaking from this pipe? Oh, that's a technical Isn't problem. It? it looks good there. Yeah. Looks the part. Pipes a bit smaller. Right. Yep. That worked well. It's good. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well, like this will be okay. All done. So just remove the old battery now. Eh? Yep. What's that? You're earthing it or something down there? These are just the, yeah, the leads. The original leads what went to your 12 volt battery. Right. You put them to 6 volt. Right, you can just press the button again for me. Oh, great. I get to do something. <laughs> oh, oh. Joint operation. Here we go, ready? Yeah. Oh, God, water everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> can I just try it again? I just want to see how strong it is. That seemed pretty strong. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. That is good. Better than it was before. <laughs> it's very good. It's twin jets as well. So that's disconnected. Yep. Yeah, it looks neat. And that's all working. That's all working. Fantastic. Right, so this is just um, a working improvement, a design modification. <laughs> this car is totally original. Is it? Well, the engine's never been out. I should clean it all up, really, and paint it. Washer bottles, I think, were off the. Um, I think that they were actually from the VW Transporter. But the VW. Beetle, it, was a lot, it must have been a lot of years ago, though. It'd be 6 volt. Yeah, but. No, they. I think they were running 6 volt into the. Uh, almost to the, um, 1960. Because BMW had them, didn't they? Right. Still. I, I mean, you know, in Germany. So maybe they were like the States, you know, they were yeah. very late in changing over. Mm.
Right, that looks really smart. And the um, washing cleaning liquid is color coded to the car. Was that part of the design? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am impressed. So, what happens? You push a button and it squirts water onto the windscreen. Should do. Yeah, yeah, that's quite, that's quite good. So, this should be able to be fitted to the 2CV. So this is just pump, uh, yeah. pump thing on well, the floor. Well, it's here. It should work. So it's that. Oh, yeah. These wires don't look as if they're damaged, but... No, that's just the plastic. Yeah. So you're removing my heating system. Yep, the system's <laughs> gone. So you can never wash your system. Yeah. <laughs> That fits size wise. Yeah. We'll, we'll offer it up first while we do Yeah. So we've got a lovely bracket that looks the part. <laughs> I mean, it, this one looks as if it was designed like this. Well, that looks... Quite rusty, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, it's been in the car for um, a few years now, quite a few years, actually. Yeah. yeah, it must be three or four years. Where do you take the feed off for that, then? Can you, um... Oh, I'm getting involved here. Yeah, yeah, can you... That pipe that comes through the bulk here. Pipe. Which one? The washing one. Oh, right, yeah. That, that one, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Just give it a pull, can you? Do what? Just give it a pull. This is how trainees are treated. Oh, that looks okay. Oh, you just push it. Yeah, that looks okay. okay. Oh, <laughs> said the vicar to the actress. <laughs> now that's impressive looking. You've all right. changed now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Handy because it fits that, fills that hole up that's in the dash. Yeah. <laughs> well, that big old hole. Yeah, a big, big old. Yeah. <laughs> What's that you you're doing? I've just got a, this is just the electrics bit. Now. Oh, it's the electrics yeah. bit, yeah. yeah. So when you wire this up, does the power come 
from the battery or uh, the, direct or is the, it the live will, the come live from the ignition? Comes straight off the um, uh, fuse box right. and then it will earth out through the switch. Uh, yeah, but so what it mean? It only works when the ignition's on, does it? Or whichever way you want. Well, no. Yeah. Do doesn't you matter, but. I'll try and you got to try and push this wire through a hole, then down through another hole down the bottom. Where do you want it to come out? Just yeah. kneel down there. You'll see um, where my light is shining. There's a hole here somewhere. Right. Take the grommet out of it. All right. Well, something's moving around, but. Hang on. No. Ah, right. Got it. Yep. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just take the tape off. Hang on. You can pull, yeah, the tape's still on it, but you can get that. Well, you know, having an assistant on the job is always, yeah, it's always good, isn't it? <laughs> so silver buttons are all the rage now. So now we come to the really high-tech business. Actually soldering. That means we've committed to a permanent fixture, new design. Yeah. Well, that's a neat little job, sort of almost invisible. Doesn't look as if you've done anything. Of course, the, uh, the big test will be whether the uh, heating goes back. It's not my department. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> your, you've got heating engineers coming oh, yeah, up. A separate job. <laughs> yeah. supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Brilliant. The ignition is still on, is it? Oh, yeah. Did you turn it on? No, you did. I turned it off. Did it? Well, sure. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, well, it's off now. I know. You have to take the uh, bonnet off every time you fill it. <laughs> the car is metallic blue and that's only matte. <laughs> Finish. Right, if you could just try it, Chris. Try it, right. You want the ignition on? Yep. Oh, I love the button. Right, ignition's on. Ready? Nothing so far. Shall I turn the ignition off? Button? Off. Okay, it's on.
everyone will want one of these silver buttons now. Yeah. Right, just try it now. Nothing. I assume the pump was working. I don't know. It was working, but it wasn't working because the battery was flat, so we assumed. Press. Yep, yeah, we've got power here. Yep. Yeah. Sounds hopeful, banging it. Is it good? Yeah, it's on. Let go. Again. The pump's not working. Oh, great. Hmm? Try it now. Yeah. Oh, it's working now. That's working. Okay. Right. Oh, bloody hell. Now, it might be because I didn't know which way the wires are going. Oh, I see. And it might be because some will work or re reverse. Right. But this one perhaps uh, wouldn't work at all. Um, if the wires are on the wrong way around. Right. Well, the button's lovely. Button's lovely, don't watch oh. the screen. But... Right, lovely. We have to put the bonnet down and just line them up, won't we? Yeah. Right, so that's it. Yeah, and that was held there. Yeah. Cool, that bottle fit in there, lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You it's... Get your paintbrush out and paint your washer pump there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it it was almost as if it was made to fit. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, that looks absolutely fantastic. Well, fantastic. Look at all that. Look at all that. All just all that. Look at that man at work. Right. Is that good? What is this pull cord for? How do you open the bonnet? Uh, right down under the bumper, there's a little lever. Try it now. Hello. That's perfect, isn't it? Hmm. Perfect. Yep. Oh, I love that. Yep. Look at that. Of a mess, no? Better turn the ignition off now, hadn't I? Yeah. Look at that. So you got the car. Yeah. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And this one works as well. Turn the ignition on. Look at that. You <laughs> pimp my dodge, yeah, this is absolutely brilliant. So we've discovered that we've got these fantastic lights that I've had here lying around for about 
10 years, LEDs, they are LEDs, aren't they? Yeah. And we've got a stop tail, twin filament one, as it were, and a single filament one. So the single filament ones will go everywhere at the moment because there is no double filament fittings, but we could use these to give us stop and tail lights in these which means we'd have stop lights then working right across the car, two in the middle, one each side, and then tail lights. That's absolutely incredible. And a silver button, all in one day. You have to love old cars to know how exciting this is. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. You can actually see that in the daylight. <laughs> can you change the ones in the middle as well? We could uh, put them in the other car as well. Them stop yeah. ones. Have you got enough? How many you got? Two. Yeah, I'm going to have a look now. Yeah, right. Right, so we're putting double. Mind your head. Putting double filaments in that one. Yeah, what's well, working? I mean, I expect you can see that at night. Just put your foot on the brake. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, okay, off, on, yeah, that comes up brighter. Better? Yeah, that comes up, yeah, definitely a difference, yeah. That's that one. That's tail. Yeah, tail. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can see. I'm sure at night that I'll come out tonight and play with it. Don't worry. I'll probably add a video bit to this tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Well done. Right. So all I've got to do now is find you some stock tail holders. Holders. Yeah, and then that that'll do. That'll do then the same. Gonna, then, then we can put singles in there. You put single LEDs in there. Yeah, and you got the doubles in there at the moment. No, they're singles in it at the moment. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, yeah. They'll, yeah they'll the, go the single there, there and, the, and, and, they're they're the, and they're the doubles they're there. Wire, yeah, so the yeah doubles. the doubles, yeah, great. These are doubles, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll leave them there. Yeah. Well, that was a very successful day. Um, apart from sorting out the, the washer um, problem with the 47 Dodge, in as much that I've now got a fantastic 6 volt washer system. Um, we also sorted out these lovely LED lights and uh, where we're at now is we've got the dual filament LEDs working on the tail lights which means that they're brighter when the tail light is on and brighter when the stop light is on and then I've got the single filament one in the stop light which is in the middle that comes on and at the moment we've got a bright single filament put on the on the uh, tail lights here but we're going to change those to dual filament so that'll be the same setup as the uh, as the 47 so it's just um, it's just got nine o'clock here and it's getting a, a little bit like dusk but we'll put the lights on and just see how they look. Well, they certainly look a lot brighter. Certainly look a lot brighter. That's a really nice light now. Look at that. You can actually see the, um, the design of that. Uh, sort of tower, they call them tower LEDs, I think. That's really, really nice. Let's try this dodge. Well, 
Well, that's much brighter as well. That's much better. The um, the problem with these uh, lights here on the uh, 47 is that they're they're actually a very thick, dark red glass, and um, the uh, obviously it needs a lot of light to uh, to light them up. But they're much better than they were. Certainly um, quite good at night. Very pleased with the uh, 49. I think in the video here that it doesn't really come out as well. I should take these really when it's dark, but they really are good. Yep. Let's, let's turn these off before we run these poor little 6 volt batteries down.